Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn how to subtract a three digit number and ten using the horizontal format. This is very simple. Let's have a look at our first example. What is six hundred and forty five minus 10. So 645 minus 10. Now let's have a look at the number 10. For the number 10 we've got, and we're just going to label the columns, the digits. We've got 0 units and we've got, I'm just going to change colors for this, 110. Now because the units are 0, what that means is that the units over here, the 5, are going to remain the same. Okay, So 5 minus 0 equals 5. So this, the units, does not change. Whenever we are adding or subtracting a number which ends in 0, that means our original number in this case 645, the unit does not change. Now how about the tens? Well, we have one ten to subtract and the number we are subtracting from is four. So let's just draw the arrows over here. We've got four minus one. Four minus one equals three. Okay, four minus one equals three. Now how about the hundreds? Well in this example the hundreds also does not change. Okay, That is not always the case. Okay, We're going to look at one where the hundreds change. But let's complete this one first. So therefore 645 minus 10 equals 600, the 6, remember the 6 does not change as for the tens, well the tens have gone from 4 to 3. We've subtracted 1 and don't forget the units do not change. So that remains 5. So 645 minus 10 equals 635. Now let's look at our second example. Let's just scroll down a little bit to give ourselves a bit of space. In this one we have 502 minus 10. 502 minus 10. Now again, let's have a look at the units. And as we've said before, the because we are subtracting 0 units, the 2 over here will not change. So we can write this down, does not change. Okay, now we're on to the tens. We have to subtract one ten. Now look at number 502. There are the tens, it is zero. So we have zero tens. So therefore this would actually be zero minus one, which we cannot do. Now let's have a look at the hundreds. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to combine these two together. We've got 50 minus, let's just draw the arrows, 1. Okay, so we've got 50 minus 1. 50 minus 1 is 49. We're just counting back by 1. So in this example, both the tens and the hundreds have changed. So what is our answer? It is 490, and don't forget the 2 here does not change, 492. So 502 minus 10 becomes 492. It is these two digits which have changed. Let's scroll back up. And that is how we do subtraction of a three-digit number and 10 
using the horizontal format.